Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Eddie Smith Sportsplex right here in Clarksdale, Mississippi, for Oklahoma Tigers softball. As the Tigers will take on the Colin Wolves, second game of the MAC JC Conference. We appreciate you joining us today right here on Comasports.com. I'm VK Jones joining you today, and we're going to bring you double header action right here between Colin and the Oklahoma Tigers, and it should be an interesting game indeed as Oklahoma is playing their second game in the MAC JC Conference. And they played last week, and so far they've been playing all MAC JC teams. And early the first two games, they played a nine conference game against Northwest Mississippi, in which they came out, they lost both games but at the same time. They played really, really hard in that ball game. But the last time they played, Oklahoma split. Now, actually, Oklahoma got swept 12-5 and 13-5, but four home runs for the Oklahoma softball Tigers, who was really making some strides, getting better a little bit on defense. But offensively, they can score the ball, led by Precious Sanders and also by and also by Alicia, uh, Alicia Witherspoon and company. And it should be a very interesting one and a good one today as we're about to get things started on the mound today will be Michaela Hubbard, number 24 for the Tigers. And she is the long pitcher, and she's going to have to do all she can all season long. And she's asked to do a lot, but she's a pretty good one as a freshman from out of Texas. So we get things started here. And leading the way will be Paige Hun for Colin as we get things started in the top of the first inning. First pitch, and they bunt it. And down there, Saez will try to get it, but... She'll get in safely. So up next, Colin Kaylee Fultonberry. As Colin credit them, they try they're trying to get on the scoreboard early. As they put the ball in play and everything. So now Hubbard just trying to get things settled. And all Coach Schmidt wants her to do is get strikes. First pitch. And there's a strike. They go to second, and he's safely in is Hewlin. So now Colin has has a, has a player on second base in scoring position. Nobody out as we're just getting started with the ball game. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And a bun, and it's foul ball. So now it will be 0-2 on the count. So Hubbard has to be calm right now. A chance for Hubbard to get a strike out here is the 0-2. And it's swinging in a foul, still Hubbard just waiting, taking her time. Tigers need to get an out right here. Let's try to stay at bay. Here's the 0-2, and it goes up the middle. Good throw by Bernard, and is the out right there. So one out for the Tigers. Now Hewlin moved this to third base now, 90 feet away. So one out coming up. Will be ten number ten Taylor Bryant for the Wolves. As the officials make sure things are straight. Wait a minute, they they're gonna score a run. Wait, they call it a bulk or something like that. It, so, so the run is going to – wow. What what kind of rule is that? I don't know. I've been seeing some different kind of rules comparing 
you know, but I think it looked like they called a bulk on that play. So the pitch is and there's a ball. So it's one nothing right now, Cole Lynn. So Cole Lynn right now with a one nothing and they called a bulk and I guess if she was off the play or something, so they gave them the base. So it's one nothing now, Cole Lynn. And down the middle, and it is a strike. Now it's one and one. Now one and one pitch for Hubbard. Down the middle, and it's a ball. Wow. Three and one is the count. Now 3-1 pitch for Hubbard, high ball four, and Brian will take first, and with one out. Now coming up is Morgan Dubose. And with one out, and they try to go to second to throw, it's not in time. So Brian still second, still one out and one all. So now player in scoring position for Cole Lynn. And now pitching is foul. So now it is 0-1. Make it 1-1. One Two balls and one strike. So it's one and one. And the pitch by Hubbard down the middle, and oh, it's still a ball. And they're trying to go to third. Oh, and Brian gets in there safely. And here's the one and one down the middle. Foul ball. Now it's one and two. So the Tigers trying to avoid a jam here. Bryant 90 feet away. Colin is up one nothing and the pitch and it's a foul ball. Still one and two. And here's the one and two pitch from Hubbard and a foul ball once again. Battle right here between DuBose and Hubbard. And a strike right there, strikes him out. Good pitch by Hubbard. Now two outs. And coming up will be Alex Anthony. And it's a strike down the middle, so now it's 0-1. Now two outs is Comb trying to get out the inning. Here's a pitch, and it's a ball. So now it's one and one. Tigers defense trying to get out the inning. Here's the one and one, strike two. Swing and a miss, so now one and two.
Two outs, one on the third. Here's the one and two th pitch. Down the middle, strike three. As Kahoma gets out the inning. He got one hit, one run, no errors. Your score after the top of the first, one nothing. Cole Lynn will be right back. You are watching Kahoma Tigers baseball right here on KahomaSports.com. And welcome back. One nothing. Colin is your score in the bottom of the first inning. Kahoma will come up the bat and go in order. Kanisha number four. Kanisha Hodges one. Terry Bernard seven. Precious not nine. Precious Sanders eight is Alicia Witherspoon. Double zero. Faith Harrington twenty eight. Michaela twenty four. Michaela Hubby, Hubbard will bat six. And also, seven is Brooke Saez. Twelve, Dee Dee Mathis and 22, Lawrence Smith will in the batting order. And here we go as we start the bottom of the first. And it will be Hodges starting it off for the Tigers. First pitch down the middle. And it's a strike, 0-1. Pitching for Cole Lynn will be number 20, Christian Black. Black throws it down the middle, and it was trying to bunt, so it's a strike, 0-2. Oh, so now Hodges switches from right to left. So here's the 0-2 pitch, outside, ball one. One and two is the count. Tigers trying to get things started in their home opener one and two pitch high and it's a ball ball two two and two is the count so now the two and two pitch from black down the middle strike three so black gets the strikeout for Colin and coming up will be Terry Bernard, the sophomore who had a great game on Friday against Holmes, who had a hit and had a home run. So here's the first pitch down the middle, and it's a strike, only one. Bernard is a very interesting player have a lot of speed, especially on the base pass. And she's going to try and bunt as a foul. So the count's 0-2. And, and scored their long run 
they call more of a bulk, more of a legal play because of because of uh, Hubbard. I think rubbed the ball a little too long or something. I don't know, but that was the call, and that's how Colin got their first run of the game. Now the one two strike three. As Bernard goes down, and up next will be Preston Sanders for the Tigers. This is game one of two today right here at Eddie Smith Sportsplex. We'll have the second game 20 minutes after this one is over. We'll bring it to you right here on ColumbusSports.com. Here's Black, first pitch, and uh, outside ball one. Now, Sanders had a tremendous game against Holmes, had two home runs, and also had two hits as well. And Sanders is really standing out right now. And here's the pitch, and it's a strike. Counts one and one. And I tell you, Sanders had got things going for the Tigers on Friday, and she's hoping to do the same today. Here's the 1-1, one, one, and a line drive, center field, and it's caught. And the third out, and it's over. No hits, no runs, no errors. Your score, one nothing. Cole Lynn. We'll be right back. You are watching Kahoma Tigers baseball, not softball, right here on KahomaSports.com. And welcome back. Top of the second inning. one nothing. Cole Lynn on the board first, early in the first inning. So now, Kahoma got to try to get things back into it here. First pitch for Hubbard. The bunt going down. Hubbard will go to first. And, oh, and just missed was Bernard. And Cole Lynn will get in safely. Nice bunt by Abigail Thornton. For the Wolves. Now coming up will be number 11, Tory Pettit for the Wolves. One on with no one out. Pettit with the pitch and there's a strike to go. Go to second and throws and not in time. As Thornton gets second and Colin taking advantage of stealing the base pads early. Now a runner in scoring position for the Wolves. Hubbard's just got to stay focused. 0 one pitch and goes up the middle. Good stop and a throw, and he gets him. Good job by Precious Sanders. So it's one out for the Tigers. So up next is Julie Sherman. Hubbard trying to stay focused. One out for the Tigers. First pitch and outside. So it's ball one. Tigers getting better and better defensively. Not a one and one. 
And they try to go to third. Saez, oh, close, and it's safe. And I tell you, give credit to Lauren Schmidt. She's getting much better awareness behind the plate and trying to make attempts to catch the runners. One out. Now, man on third. Now, woman. Now, player on third. And one and one, and there's a strike. Now it's one and two. Thornton is on third with a chance to give Cole in to try to extend the lead. One and one pitch, and up the middle, and it will drop for a base hit, and a run will score, and it is two nothing Cole in. And a nice RBI single for Sherman. Now up next, Harmony Ashley for the Wolves. Oklahoma, got to stay calm. Got to stay calm and foul ball. So it'll be on one. So now the 0 1 pitch down the middle and the foul ball now 0 and 2. And down the middle of the pitch, pretty close. And it will be ball one. Now one and two. Now the one and two pitch. Pop fly. That'll be a foul. Here's the pitch going down the middle. Good catch by Bernard. They're going to go to second. Oh, just missed Harrington. But they're going to try and still go to second base. And here's Sanders almost the tag. But safely, Sherman gets the second. Good job by Bernard defensively. Now two outs. Next batter will be. 22, and they go to the top of the order. Hewlin. And it's low, and there's a ball one, and the runner will go to third. One ball, one ball, one ball, no strike. And here's the 1 0 pitch for Hubbard. He swings in a miss, strike one. Showman is on third. Hewlin with a chance to get an RBI, but two outs. And here's the pitch. Pretty low now. It's ball two. Two and one. And here is the two one. Swing foul. Strike two. So it will be two and two. And now Hewlin switches to the right side. So here's the 2-2 pitch. And strike three for Hubbard. She gets the strike out, and they get out the inning. Two hits, one run, one error. Nobody left, and one and one left. Your score, 2 nothing. Cole Lynn up on Cahoma. We're coming right back. You are watching Cahoma Tigers baseball right here, uh, softball right here at CahomaSports.com.
Welcome back. Bottom of the second inning. 2 nothing is the score. Cole in up on the Tigers. Up first for the Tigers will be Alicia Silvers, Alicia Witherspoon. And take a swing and it be a foul. So it's 0 in 1. Witherspoon, pretty good hitter, can has a lot of power behind her. And here's the one one and swing and a miss. Oh and two. Third strike and it's an out right there for Weatherspoon. Yeah, yeah, that's what's one out. Yeah. No, no, it's clear, clear, clear strike. Clear. So now Faith Harrington up the bat for the Tigers. First pitch down the middle. And it's a ball, so it's ball one. Harrington, a very good hero, very powerful. She had she had a home run the other day as well. Five ball now. It is one and one. Here is the one and one high, and it is ball two. So now it's two and one. Harrington trying to get things started for the Tigers. Here's the two one pitch down the middle, and it's a strike. So now it's two and two. And the 2-2 two -two pitch to Harrington. He hits it towards the middle and goes to the first out, and it'll be two outs now for the Tigers. So now up the bat will be Michaela Hubbard. She had a couple hits against Holmes on Friday. Here's the first pitch, low ball one. And here is the one old pitch and a pop fly and they get the out and Colin gets out the inning, no hits, no runs. No errors, nobody left. Your score, 2 nothing. Cole Lynn, as we go now to the third inning. You are watching Coma Tigers Baseball right here on CahomeSports.com.
Welcome back. Top of the third inning, two nothing, is your score for two nothing Colin over Oklahoma. Tigers looking for the first one of the year. Here's the first pick from Hubbard and a foul ball. Has Kelly Fortenberry up the bat for the Tigers. As the Tigers looking to try to play some defense here. Offense hasn't been really gotten going like talking about it early in this ball game. And now the 0-1 pitch. And it's a ball, one and one. Here is the one and one foul. Now it's one and two. Coma trying to come up big on the defensive end. The one and two and his swing. Going down on Sanders, he throws the first, and then right out of Harrington's hands, it'll be safe. As Fortenberry gets in safely, nobody out. So up next will be Bryant. Bryant, last time got on with a hit. Here's the first pitch down the middle, and there's a strike. Actually, wait, 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 it's a ball. Sorry, sorry. So it's 1-0. and oh. So now the 1-0 pitch. And the swing and a miss, strike one. So now, one-on-one -on -one pitch for Hubbard. And they're trying to go to second to throw to Sanders and not in time. Fortenberry gets the second safely. So now, one-on-one -on -one pitch and a pop fly. And it's going to be Bernard who makes the catch. One out. First pitch by Hubbard and ball, so it'll be ball one. You know, the bat is Dubos. And here's a pitch going up the middle. Oh, almost a stop by Sanders and goes through a base hit. And they're trying to go home. And is he going to go to second? Can he get a No. Safely will be Dubos. Still one out. And a big hit right there, a double for DuBose. Cole in now with two players in scoring position and a chance to widen the lead. And it's Anthony next for the Wolves. First pitch. Down the middle of strike, so 0-1. Oklahoma trying to play a little D here. Tip, foul, and it's strike two.
Oklahoma trying to get out the inning here. Here's the 0-2 pitch. High ball one. Colin has one out, two on. And here's the one, two, foul ball. One and two. Oklahoma's got to be smart here. And here is the one and two pitch with one out and the pitch high it's ball two and here's the two two high and it's ball three so now full count three and two Right now, there's one out and two on here. And here's the payoff pitch for Hubbard. And pop fly foul. Still three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. And it's a ball, ball four. Now the bases are loaded with one out. Now up the bat, Abigail Thornton for the Wolves. And first pitch, high ball one. Now if Coleman can get a double play, that would be huge for them to get out the inning. Hubbard has to take a time a little bit. And here is the 1-0 pitch. And here, swing and a miss. Strike one. Counts one and one. Cole in with the bases loaded. And one and one pitch. And ball got by. And and the ball hit the batter, and the runners will advance, and a run will score. That will be Fortenberry. Now 3 nothing. Colin. So as Thornton got hit by the pitch, she's okay. Now 3 nothing, Cole in, and base is still loaded. One out, Torrey Pettit up the bat for the Wolves. Here's the first pitch, and that's a, it should be, there's a strike right there, so it's 0-1. One. one out, base is loaded. 0-1 pitch, and low, ball one. Count is one and one. And here's the pitch for Hubbard. Pretty high, so it's ball two. Two and one is the count. A double play would be big for Kahoma here. Here's the 2-1, high ball three. And here's the pitch, and now I'm in a good catch by Bernard. And now will be two outs. Good job by Bernard making the catch right there. On the pop fly. So now two outs. Still with the base loaded. First pitch. And it's a strike on one. Now Sherman up the bat for Colin. A chance for Coleman to try to get out the inning. Here's the pitch. And Bernard tries to get it. Bumbling gets it in. Gets to the first base and gets out the inning. 
Two hits, one run, and three left on base. Your score, three nothing. Cole as we go to the bottom of the third. You're watching Kahoma Tigers softball right here on KahomaSports.com. Welcome back right here at Eddie Smith Sportsplex. 3 nothing is the score. Colin leading um, Kahoma. Unforced error so far for, for, for Kahoma. It's caused Colin to have a 3 nothing lead. They scored the last run on a hit batsman and, they, and with the bases loaded. So now 3 nothing. But Kahoma's offense got to get things going here to get back in this ball game. So up first is Brooke Saez of the Tigers. As Black still pitching for the Wolves. Here's the first pitch. And there's a strike on one. And here's the 0 1 pitch. Oh, swing and a miss, strike two. Saez had a couple of good hits Friday against Holmes. Looking to hopefully to do more today for the Tigers. And here's the 0 1 pitch and the drive back foul. Still 0 and 2. Now, the 0 and 2 pitch for Black and swing and is a foul. Still 0 and 2. Saez, don't be deceived of you know her position. Or anything else, she can hit the ball and she can move around those base pads. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and hit drive nearby first, throws it in, gets out, gets Saez out of there, so one out. So up next will be Didi Mathis. Mathis, pretty good power hitter, just a freshman. For the Tigers. Here's the first pitch. High ball one. Coleman trying to get things started offensively. Here's the 1 0 pitch, and down the middle near the first, throws it and gets them out. Two outs. And up next for the Tigers will be Lawrence Schmidt. As the catcher has the chance to try to get things going offensively. It's a pretty quick swing. Here's the first pitch. 
And it's a strike. 0 and 1. And here's the old one pitch down the middle. What is a ball? Count is one and one to Schmidt. And here's the one one line driving goes the first and gets out the inning is Cole Lynn. No hits, no runs, no errors. Nobody left on base. Your score after three. Three nothing, Cole Lynn. You are watching Oklahoma Tiger Softball right here on OklahomaSports.com. Welcome back right here. Now in the top of the fourth inning, 3 nothing. Colin first pitch, and it goes down the middle of the first, and Harrington with the tag, and they get the first out, one out. As Ashley popped it out right there. So now coming up will be Paige Hewlin as they start with the top of the order once again. Hubbard's continue to pitch. First pitch, five ball, strike one. Oklahoma getting a, getting a little bit better, tightening up on defense. And that's big for Oklahoma to keep them in the ball game. Not a 0-1 pitch. And outside, it'll be ball one. One out, nobody on. And here's the 1-1. One, one. High to be ball two. Two and one is the count. And here's the 2-1. And, ooh, pretty close, but it's still a ball. So, ball three is the call. Three and one is the count. And here's the three-one pitch. And it's ball four as they will, and as Hewlin will get the first for Colin. Now one on with one out. And up the bat is Kelly Fortenberry. Oklahoma got to stay focused. Here's the first pitch. And it's a strike. And they try to go to second. And safely is Hewlin. 
Now a man on now now a player on second base. Only one out. Player in scoring position once again. Credit Cole Lynn. They've been taking advantage of stealing those base pads and getting in scoring position. And here is the old one pitch as they bunt it. And Saez throws the first, gets there. Good job by Brooks Saez. And now two outs. And Hewlin moved to third base now. So now, one on, two outs. Now up the bat will be Bryant. First pitch, foul fly, foul ball. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Pop fly, middle, and it'll be dropped for a base hit and run will score. Now 4-0, Colin. Big hit right there by Taylor Bryant. And it was a little bit of a blooper for Bryant, and it dropped right in the left center. Now two outs. And first pitch, high, ball one. And looks like Brian stole second. And now the pitch, ball two. Two and oh is the count. Here is the 2 0 pitch. Pop fly, foul ball. Now, man, on, uh, player on second. Now, two outs in the pitch, and they try to go to third. Saez just missed him, and they're going to try and go home. Hodges going to throw to the play, and not in time. Bryant gets the score. Now it's 5 nothing. Colin. Unforced errors right there. Now. As they continue to bat. And here's the drive. And Sanders will try to go to first. Get some. And they get off the inning. And one hit. One run. No errors. One left on base. Your score five nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth. You are watching Kahoma Tiger Softball right here on KahomaSports.com.
Well, welcome back. Now in the bottom of the fourth, Hodges starts it off for the Tigers. Hopefully they can get things going offensively in first pitch. And there's a strike, 0-1. Christian Black. Pitching a pretty good game here now with a shutout, 5 nothing. I just hopefully that she can change that on one pitch. And she tried to bunt, foul. So now on two. Kahoma was hitting the ball a lot on Friday, but so far has not hardly had a hit this game. Here's the 0-2, and it's low ball one. One and two now. Greta Colin defensively making some plays here to prevent Kahoma to get on the base pass. Now a one and two pitch, and swing and a miss, strike three. One out. Coming up, Terry Bernard for the Lady Tigers. Now, Bernard has got to find a way to try to get on base here to utilize the speed. Now, Coach Smith and, and talking to the talking to the uh, one of the umpires here trying to get some clarification. So here we go here as Bernard up the bat. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch, and they're going to try and bond foul. Trying to trying to really get things going offensively, doing a good job defensively today. Stole one pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. And now, black. With 0-2, the, the advantage, and now it's a ball, one and two. And now one out, nobody on. Bernard trying to stay in it here. The one and two pitch, pop fly foul. Bernard not giving up here on the plate. Christian Black trying to get out here in one and two pitch. Took a swing and strike three. Two outs now. Now up the bat, Precious Sanders. Update out, out there as, as the baseball team Oklahoma is playing right now as well. They're down five to four, and they're in the top of the fifth inning. Uh, I mean, actually, the bottom of the fifth inning over on the other side of the Eddie Smith Sportsplex. First pitch, down low, ball. One and oh. Sanders being very selective here. Now the one oh pitch. And it's a strike, strike one. It looked pretty high right there. So now one and one, two outs, nobody on. And here's the one-one pitch. And outside, so it's a ball, ball two. Right now, Kahoma trying to get things going offensively. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And line drive, ooh, almost a base hit, but a foul. So now, 2-2 two two is the count. Now, 
Nobody on two outs. Hopefully Sanders trying to get something going here. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. High and ball three. So now full count. Three and two here for Sanders. And here's the payoff. And ball four. Sanders will take first. Still with two outs. Up next will be Alicia Witherspoon for the Tigers. Tigers hopefully with a chance to really get things going. Now they have a base runner on. So let's see what Witherspoon can do. Here's the first pitch. And it's a ball. And actually it's a strike, so it's 0-1. Sanders was trying to make an attempt to steal. Two outs, one on. And here's the old one pitch. I'm trying to bond and here. Sanders going to second. She gets in safely. Good job by Sanders now. A runner's in scoring position. With two outs. Actually, it was, yeah, so it was two strikes, so it is 0-2. So the 0-2 pitch from Black as he's trying to slap it, but a foul ball. Still 0-2. Weatherspoon with a chance to get an RBI here. This could be huge here for the Tigers. If they can some way, somehow get on the board. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and they're trying to slap in still a foul ball. Still 0-2, interesting battle between Black and Weatherspoon. Here is the 0-2 pitch. Try to slap it again. Still a foul. Witherspoon not giving up. Trying to keep things in it here. Now the 0-2 pitch. And low ball two. And well, one in here is Sanders who goes to third now. So now Sanders is 90 feet away. A chance for Kahoma to get on the scoreboard. And here is the one and two pitch. Trying to slap it, but foul ball once again. Good, interesting battle here between Weatherspoon and Black. Coach Aaron Smith trying to encourage his te her team. Let's get on the scoreboard. Build some confidence here. Two outs, man, a person, a play on third. Here's the one, two. And they're trying to go back to third, and safely she's in. So that's a ball. And now it's two and two. Good thing Witherspoon didn't swing all the way. That would have been a strikeout. And here's the two and two pitch. Outside ball three. So now full count at three and two. Two outs. And here's a and it goes up the middle. It's a base hit. Run will score. Is Sanders and now one nothing. And now it's five one. It's Kahoma on the board. Good hit 
by Witherspoon. Now 5-1 is your score. Scoreboard's been up and down now. We got it back up. It's just a it's, it's just a little bit of a short in the booth. And we'll get that straight by Tuesday for the next game. First pitch to Faith Harrington is a strike on one. Two outs. One player on. Harrington trying to get things. Keep going for the Tigers and outside ball one. Five to one is the score. Harrington, a very powerful hitter, wants to really step it up here for the Tigers. Here's the one one pitch down the middle, and actually, it's a ball, so. Three ball two. So it is two and one. Two one pitch outside and it's ball three. And it looks like it's a sign. Black is getting a little bit tired here. They set up in a little bit of a conference, and now Weatherspoon on first, two outs, three one pitch, and there's a strike, and now is a full count three two. Anything can happen here. And here's the payoff pitch and a foul ball. Now, now still three and two. Two outs. Here's the payoff and still a foul. Pretty good crowd today all around here at Eddie Smith Sportsplex. We thank you for joining us right here on Oklahomasports.com. Two outs. And a three and two. And still foul ball. What a battle between Black and Faith Harrington. In the bottom, we are in the bottom of the fourth. Kahoma finally gets on the scoreboard and trying to get more here. Here's the three and two payoff. And up the middle, let's see if it drops. And it's a pop five card. And Colin gets out the inning. One hit, one run. And also one left on base. Your score. Cole in five, Kahoma one. We're coming back with the fifth inning. You all watching Kahoma Tigers softball right here on KahomaSports.com.
Welcome back to CahomaSports.com. Five to one, Colin up on Cahoma. Now we're in the top of the fifth inning. Starting it off will be number six, Alex Anthony for the Wolves. As Hubbard will continue the pitch here. First pitch. Now in the middle. Oh, pretty close. That's a ball. Wow. Looked like a strike to me. So it's 1-0. -oh. And here's the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Hubbard getting much better with the pitches. Here's the 1-1. Down the middle and the strike two. Now one and two. And here is the one and two pitch and line drive right field. Mathis gets the catch. Good catch by Didi Mathis. One out. So up the bat up next will be Abigail Thornton. Tigers defense really is tightening up now since early in the innings. First pitch, foul ball, and it's beyond one. So now the old one pitch. And it's a ball, so now it's one and one. One out, nobody on. And here's the one one from Hubbard. Oh, and this is a ball outside. So it's two and one. And now Hubbard trying to get things going. And here's the 2 1 pitch. Outside is a ball, so it'll be ball three. Three and one is the count. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Pop fly center, and here's Bernard with the catch. Good catch by Terry Bernard. Two outs. So up next will be Tory Pettit for the Wolves. And it looks like the umpires having a little discussion here. They're kind of questioning one of the calls. I don't know. They're going to give, oh, wow. They're going to give um, Thornton first base. I'm, I'm wondering what's the call on that one. Because it looked like it was a pop fly. So it'll still be one out. They're going to give Thornton the base. Wow. I, I don't understand that one. So, and here's the pop fly. Now left center. And it'll be Hodges with the catch. Still two, and it now will be two outs. Good catch by Hodges. So I, I, I'm not, we're trying to still get an understanding of what happened, but we'll, we'll get us, we'll get an understanding later on. So now two outs, first pitch, and a pop fly now goes to right field, and that will drop, and that's just a foul ball. So. A nice shot right there by Julie Sherman for the Colin Wolves. Could have been a big hit, but now we have a 0-1 count. 0-1 pitch, and there's a strike, 0-2. Two outs, one on. Colin with a chance to get out the inning. 
Here's the 0-2, and it goes. Good stop by Saez. She'll try to go to first. Got him. Good job by Brooks Saez as Coloma gets out the inning. One hit, no runs, no errors, and one left on base. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 5-1. Cole Lynn with the lead. You are watching Coloma Tiger Softball right here on Coloma Sports. Dot com. And welcome back. Now we're bottom of the fifth inning. First up the bat will be Michaela Hubbard. 5-1 is your score. Colin up on. Pitch and the strike right there. So now an 0 and 2 count for Hubbard. She's trying to help herself for the Tigers. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Pop fly foul. A lot of foul balls are going to be going through everywhere because you got one side, you have the baseball game, and the other side, you have the softball game. And this is not the only date that they will have two games simultaneously at the same time. They will have another date where they have two teams, and it will be in the conference. And here's the pitch, 0-2 pitch, and it's a ball, ball one. One and two is the count. Aaron Smith doing a good job with this program. Very competitive and trying to teach, the, teach those kids how to win at Coma. Ball low, now it's ball two. Not, I think it's three and one, I believe it's in. And here's the pitch. Dot line drive left center. Caught. Good. Good try by Hubbard, and it's an out. Man, a big time defensive play in left center field for Cole Lynn. Wow, huge catch by Paige Hewlin. I mean, that is big right there. As Hubbard almost helped herself with a big hit. Now up the back, Brooks Saez for the Tigers. Here's the first pitch, and it's a ball. 1 0. Oh. Pahoma trying to get things going offensively here. And here's the one old back. And line drive going to right field. It will drop for a hit and a good one for Brooks Saez. One on with one out. Up next will be Didi Mathis. 
This is game one of two right here, home opener for the Oklahoma Tigers. Now there's a chance to move the runner. First pitch, and there's a strike on one. Here's the old one pitch. Low ball two, ball one. Now it's one and one. And here's the one one pitch from Black. Outside, and the ball's going to get away. Sires will go to second. So now a runner in scoring position for the Tigers. So two and one is the count for Mathis. Now Mathis can get the runner home here if she can get a hit. Two one pitch and a line drive and it will drop a base hit and Sires will stay at third and she could go home and. She'll stay. Colin was ready. Now two on with one out. Good hit by Dee Dee Mathis. So now two on. One out. Lauren Schmidt. A chance for her to get an RBI here for the Tigers. Schmidt at the plate. Wouldn't be surprised they might try to bunt. And they do. And they're going to try and go to second. Mattis gets nailed. So that'll be two outs for the Tigers. So now two outs now. Size on third. Here's the pitch and it's a strike. Here's the one and swing and a miss and it's a foul. So it's now so the count is one in two. One and two to count and two outs, one on. Here's the pitch and right on the ground. Black throws the first, gets out for Colin, and that's the inning. Two hits, no runs, no errors, and one left on base. Your score after five, 5-1, five, Colin with a lead over Kahoma. We're coming right back. You are watching Kahoma Tiger Softball right here on KahomaSports.com.
Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Still 5-1. to one. Colin up on the Kahoma Tigers. Kahoma in this ballgame not giving up as Hubbard will continue the pitch. And here's the first pitch. And it's a ball. So it's, oh, so it's 1-0. and oh. And it's Ashley Harmony. Harmony will be. And here, good throw to first by Bernard for the out. So it is one out for the Tigers. As Harmony Ashley grinded out right there. So now, up the bat, they go back to the top of order, the order with uh, Paige Hewlin for the Wolves. First pitch outside is ball one. Second pitch, and there's a strike, one and one. Now the one and one pitch from Hubbard. And then Coach Ryan Bunch, foul ball. Now one and two. So Hubbard hopefully stay calm and cool. And they're trying to bunt it again. Actually, foul ball. Still one and two. Kahoma has been coming up pretty big defensively. One out, nobody on. And here's the one two pitch for Hubbard. And they're going to slap it down. And Hubbard will throw the first and gets her. So it's two outs. Now, Cajon with a chance to get out the inning with a one, two, three. Let's see here. Up the bat will be Fortenberry of the Wolves. Here's the first pitch. And down low in this ball one. One very chance to try to get on for the Wolves. Here's the 1 0 pitch. And outside, ball two. Hubbard trying to bring the heat here. And she is definitely dependent on her defense. She's doing a very good job out there in the field. Here's the 2 0 and pop fly foul. Hubbard looking to try to get out the inning now. The 2 1 pitch. Bunt in and it's fouled. So now it's 2 and 2. Give Hubbard the chance to get a big strike out here to get out of the sixth. Nobody on, two outs. Here's the two and two from Hubbard. And they go to Hubbard again. Good job. And he scoops and gets into the first base for the out. No hits, no runs. Nobody left on the bag. One, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the six. Five, one. Colin over Kahoma. We'll be right back. You are watching Kahoma Target Tigers softball right here on KahomaSports.com.
Welcome back. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Still 5 to 1. Calling in with the lead. Kanisha Hodges will start it off for the Tigers. First pitch. High. Let's see. They'll call the ball. Ball one. Black continues to pitch for the Wolves. Now the 1 0 and a bunt down, and here's Hodges down the line. She's going get there, and no one's out. Good job by Colin defensively. One out. Good effort by Kanisha Hodges. Up next, Terry Bernard. No, trying to get her first hit for the day. And here's the first pitch. And it's a strike on one. Oklahoma trying to get some more runs on the board. And here's a one and up the middle, but it's caught. Now two outs. And up next will be Precious Sanders for the Tigers. Sanders a little quiet on the day, but she's trying to get going. First pitch to Sanders, and it's a ball, ball one. Nobody on two outs. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Down the middle, and there's a strike, so it is 1 and 1. And we mentioned four home runs on Friday. Hope they can get one here. Here's the old 1 and 1 and swing and a miss. Strike two. Now it's 1 and 2. Two outs, nobody on. And a one and two pitch outside, so it's two and two. Two and two is the count now. And outside now, and ball three. Now it is three and two, full count this time. Two outs, three and two count for Sanders. Here's the payoff pitch, and line drive base hit, and Sanders will get on at first with two outs. Sanders will go to second base. Good job, my precious Sanders. She's on at second. Two outs. Alicia Witherspoon up for the Tigers. Witherspoon a chance to get an RBI for the Tigers. Here's the first pitch, swing and a miss on one. And Weatherspoon had a hit earlier. Trying to get a nice slapper here to get an RBI. On one pitch, and here's a slap, and there's another foul. Oh, and two is the count. Oklahoma a chance to cut the lead further. Player at second base is Sanders. Now the 0 and 2 pitch. High ball one. Now it's one and two.
two outs. And a one-two pitch, slapper, strike three is the call. Colin will get out the inning. One hit, no runs, no errors, and one left on the base. Your score, five to one, Colin over Kahoma as we go to the seventh inning. We'll be back. You are watching Kahoma Tigers softball right here on KahomaSports.com. Welcome back. Top of the seventh inning. 5-1 is the score. Hubbard will continue to pitch. First pitch is a ball. 1-0. and oh. That it is Bryant up the bat. 1-0 pitch. High and it's ball 2-2-0. Two. Two oh. two oh. Hubbard trying to calm down here. Two zero pitch, high. So it is ball three now. Three zero. And a three zero pitch from Hubbard, and a strike's called. So now three one. Bryant trying to get on base. Now a three one strike two. Now we have a full count. Hubbard trying to get back in. Here's a 3 2 pitch and a line drive to right field, left field in his pass. Hodges. Hodges will try to get hard second in time. A double for Taylor Bryant. And it looked like Hodges kind of misstepped it a little bit. Now up the bat will be Morgan Dubuse, and it goes to um Bernard, who mishandled it, and the runner will be safe. The Bulls will be safe for the Wolves. So now a runner at third and a runner at first. Nobody out. It's Colin. Trying to extend it here. Now, Alex Anthony up the bat first pitch. And a line drive. This time right field. And that'll be a foul ball. That would have been huge for Anthony. So, now on one. So, 0-1 pitch and running foul. So, now 0-2 for Anthony. Not a 
one two pitch nobody out and here's the pitch and good stop by Bernard but they're not gonna get there and the run will score now six to one Cole in because they get an insurance run right there so now Wolves up six to one runner at now first and second nobody out and here's the first pitch and they run it down Hubbard gets the first for the out so the runner, runners are moved so now runner at second and third now with one out good bunt by Abigail Thornton now up next is Tory Pettit first pitch and it's a strike, so it's on one. Game moving a little bit more quicker. On one pitch, and there's a foul. Now on two. Hubbard with a chance to try to get it out here. want to do what they can to stop the bleeding here one two well over oh, two pitch and there's a ball so it's one and two here's the oh, one and two pitch to Hubbard and it goes to Sanders Sanders will go to first oh just Mrs. Harrington run will score and now seven to one is the score Colin adds another run. And, and Bryant will be up the bat now. Actually, it's Julie Sherman up for Colin. Bryant gets in safe. Remember, Petty gets in safely at second. An error right there for. For the Tigers. Now seven to one score. One out, two on. Second, a runner at second and at third. And they're going to get another run across the board right here. Wow, what, what, what kind of rules is that? I mean, Colin is just taking advantage of probably every little thing in the rule book, and now they counted another run. So now eight to run is the score. Run on second, and a ball down in his ball. One and oh is the count. So the one oh pitch from Hubbard. And it's a ball, and it's ball two. The 2 0 -oh pitch from Hubbard down the middle is a base hit. And they fumble it in the outfield. They try, and a run will score for Colin. And that is Pettit. Now 9 1 is the score. Colin adding on some insurance runs. And Colin making a change here. And Mackenzie Smith will be the pitch hitter for Cole Lynn. So Smith will be up the bat with a runner on first. Only one out. 9-1 is the lead. Smith off the bat. Here's 
Here's the pitch and a strike on one. And old one pitch, strike two. And they're trying to get the first safe. Now here's the old two pitch and a line drive and it'll be foul. Oklahoma trying to find a way to get out this inning. Here's the one two pitch, foul ball. Here's the one and two. And So they like they switch batters right here. And a strike by Hubbard. And down in the dirt is a ball. pitch and it's strike right down the middle so now one and two two and two two and two pitch and it should be a that's just a foul tip so continue to bat and here's the two and two pitch and it will down the line, it'll be a foul. And actually up the back is a is Alexandria Thomas. Fifteen for the Wolves. So a nine one lead. Here's the pitch. Pretty high, so it'll be ball three. Full count. Here's the three and two pitch. High and there'll be ball four. Now up for Colin will be number seven, Callie Fortenberry. Now with runners on first and second. I believe it's one or two hours in the line drive and it's a foul. Nine to one is your score, top of the seventh inning. 
And here's the pitch, and it's a bunt down the line foul. Now the old one pit now the old one pitch from Hubbard. Now the middle is a ball. And now one and one pitch it goes down the middle. Hubbard Stella chance first and get some. As Kahoma gets out the inning. Three runs for Colin to extend the lead. Your score, 9 1. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Last chance for the Tigers. Faith Harrington will start it off. First pitch. And it's low ball one. As Mackenzie Smith was is a new pitcher for the Wolves. Now low and it's ball two. Coleman just got to get things going down. Eat. And here's the 2 0. And there's a strike. 2 and 1 is the count. Now, 2 1 pitch. And up the middle, good stop by Smith. He throws the first. And out of there is Harrington. One out. So now, of the bat, with Michaela Hubbard trying to help herself here in the comeback. First pitch, high ball one. Hubbard, pretty good power hitter besides a pitcher. And second pitch, outside ball two. 2-0 is the count. Here's the 2-0 pitch outside. 
three. Oh. And hopefully the helper can get on the 3-0 pitch. High ball four. Hubbard will get on first. That's a good start there for the Tigers. Brooks Saez up for Kahoma. Tigers will have a pitch runner. That'll be Kelsey Rogers on first for the Tigers. Saez with a chance to move the runner. Umpires making sure the changes are correct. This is just game one of two right here. And here's Saez of the bat against Smith. Here's the first pitch. And they're going to try and get the second. Rodgers get in safely. So now Rodgers in scoring position. And Saez with a chance to now get an RBI. An update from the baseball field. North Arkansas gets a victory over Kahoma. The final was 9-4 in game one. Game two is coming up next on the baseball side of fame for Kahoma. Here's the 1-0, and it's low ball two. Saez, very smart hitter. Now the 2-0. Outside ball three. Actually, it's a strike, so two and one. Two one pitch, and now it's a foul. Now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Now here's the two and two pitch to Saez. And a pop fly going to left field. And oh, they run into each other. And Rodgers will get the third and Saez a second. Runner at second and third with one out. So up next for Kahoma is Dee Dee Mathis. Chance for her to get a couple of RBIs here. She had a hit earlier. One out, two runners on. First pitch, high, ball one. And... Kahoma and uh, Colin calls a little bit of a conference here. And the coach is getting together, especially head coach Alan Kent and Jackie Johnson. Talking with the players and keeping things in front of them. Bottom of the seventh inning, one out. Kahoma with a chance to get some runs on the board. Now Mathis working with a 1-0 count. One out. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And they go up the middle. And they're going to go home. And they get Rodgers at home. So now, runners at first and second. 
Now two outs. Rogers had a good try by her, had a chance to get home and a chance to um to get a run. Lauren Schmidt, last chance for the Tigers here with two outs. First pitch. Outside for ball, and it's ball one. Two on, two outs. Here's the pitch, and oh, nice drive, but a foul. One and one will be a count. Now the one and one pitch to Smith and a swing and a miss. Strike two. Mackenzie Smith with a chance to get the save for the Wolves. Here's the one and two swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Final score in the first game, nine to one. Colin gets the victory over. Oklahoma. And we appreciate everybody joining us as Colin. Colin will go now to nine and seven on the season. And also Oklahoma now goes to 0 five on the young season, but they will play one more coming up in the next twenty to twenty five minutes and we'll bring it to you. We appreciate you joining us right here on KahomaSports.com and we thank you for joining us here and like we mentioned we give you every and every any and everything right here on KahomaSports.com so we thank you for joining us right here and I tell you the Kahoma offense got to get things going especially going in the game too they stayed in it for a long time but Colin opened up in the seventh inning to put this game away so we'll have game two coming up in 20 to 25 minutes on VK Jones. We thank you for joining us. <laughs> 